on Monday, Preston announced that Frankie McAvoy is the new head coach. So um, I'm going to give you my thoughts on this and uh, more. So for a bit of context, let's just rewind to uh, the 21st of March uh, 2021. So Preston announced that uh, Alex Neal had been sacked uh, as manager and so that Frankie McAvoy would be instated as interim head coach till the end of the season. In that time, Frankie's won five of his eight games in charge, which is not bad. The, with two draws and one defeat, the one defeat was a 5-0 loss to Brentford. Uh, but I can't say there's much shame in that, although we did play poorly, of course, but given that Brentford are, are in the playoffs. Teams that were involved in those games were Norwich, who we drew 1-1 against. We won away at Swansea, who were in the playoffs. Uh, we won at home to Barnsley, who were also in the playoffs. So it's not looking uh, too bad. Now, why have North End gone down the route of Frankie McAvoy? One, it's it's much much cheaper, um, for, well, to get him in rather than you know go for a, say say Gareth Ainsworth who's been heavy linked with us, and buy him out of his contract at Wickham. That it's it's much more cheaper just to promote Frankie McAvoy, um, and also um, it's hard to overlook him. It's it's really hard to overlook someone who has come in and won five of his eight games in an interim charge. So it's. He, certainly, you'd, you'd have to consider him as a candidate, but he's uh, got the job, so it's, uh, from my point of view, which we'll just go into now, very good. Let me just expand on my view on this. I'm very pleased with this. Uh, Franco Ackroy was probably one of my top two candidates for this, he'll be in Gareth Ainsworth. If either of them got the job, I'd have been happy, but... Um, yeah, it's I'm I'm very happy for Frankie McAvoy. It's his first managerial job. He see he he loves the club for it. It seems he's been here since well he was Alex Neal's assistant, um, uh, since uh, Alex Neal came in July twenty seventeen I think it were, and yeah so he's uh, got the promotion which I think he thoroughly deserves. With this though, it does it does come with a tinge of sadness because Paul Gallagher has retired, uh, from football. It's very sad. Uh, day for North End, but he's staying at the club, which is very good as a first team coach, so everything's still uh, looking good. And that's where we are going to uh, wrap it up for today. Uh, comment down below who you think North End should sign this summer. Um, I should say as well, on Twitch, uh, I'm not going to do a couple of FIFA packs, but also, the Holy Grail have arrived. Euro 2020 stickers, we're going to be opening some of these, uh, which will be fantastic uh, but yeah um, leave a like uh, subscribe because that would be very very nice as I said comment who you think North End should sign this summer whether you're a North End fan or not you never know you might want to sign a stinky player who knows but yeah that's where I'll leave it cheers